Okay, this video for budget set, it's $40. It is called the NF Audio RA05. If you are a subscriber to this channel, go ahead and comment below. I'm going to pick a person that comments below and is a subscriber down the road a few weeks and announce it in the Unbox channel where you would also have to be a subscriber and announce it in the community section. So notifications, if it's like this channel or the other, it would definitely be the other because that's where I just did it today. Somebody got one of the S08s and hopefully they got notifications turned on. I'll go check it maybe in a couple days um, and then they'll end up getting their thing. So that's how it works. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, that's cool too, but I appreciate the support um, and thank you for the people that are subscribed and are active with the comments and also the thumbs up or whatever you decide to do. Um, now, we're talking about a $40 set which should be appealing because it's affordable. But I'm going to wave you off of this set. Or let's wait until I don't want to. I don't want to tip my hat to what my ghetto scale ranking is going to be. You just don't know how severe it's going to be. Let's go ahead and talk about the set. It's a single um, micro driver. It's a six millimeter driver, which is mean it's about as big as a baby's pinky nail. It's very small. It's very very small. I really should have a visual demonstration. Um, but I don't. I'm sorry. Six millimeters is a very... If you ever seen Eddie Modic in that little tube that like will literally go in your canal, that's got a six millimeter, and I'm pretty sure. It's quite small. I'm bringing that up because that type of driver is limited in its ability to convey a sense of energy and force in the low end. And it's directly related to its size. Size does matter in some occasions. I'm not making a joke. Six millimeter drivers are not ideal. Even if you are doing a hybrid with a dedicated DD, if that's a six millimeter DD, you're kneecapping yourself because you're limiting what you can do with the low end or what the end user who buys it and wants to play with it can do. They're, they're very limited. I will talk about this tuning as we go along. Starting in the bass, Big Boy Kill Jill. There's a triple drop. Lowest is at 38 hertz. This is not a set, remember, other sets like the Belon Mini, which has mid bass like mine, didn't out of the box have the ability to really play back Big Boy Killed You with a sense of energy and force. And when I tried to EQ it, it just started to lose its shit quickly. So it really wasn't designed for that. Um, and all of the micro drivers that I've experienced in 10 years, none of them were sets that I would think, yeah, that's almost there, a little EQ, or that would be okay in a hybrid, but not just as the only driver. It's I don't really see the point of those, except maybe in the treble, not in the low end. They just don't have that power. So Kill Jill is no. Four string, five string bass guitar. You can, t you can go on to YouTube, like you're on right now, and type up tuning the bass guitar. And you're going to get a lot of videos of production software. And it's producers telling you tips on how to tune for bass guitar. And a lot of their tips and tricks aren't in the bass section, it's other places to get the snap on the strings, to get the ringing sound to sound accurate. And that's something that they layer below the vocals, so they're only EQing and giving tips on that or rhythm section type instruments where you want to have it sound present and energetic, but you don't want it to interfere with other parts of the production. A lot of that tips and tweaks is to do with beyond the bass range. Because the bass guitar is a complicated instrument more than the name bass guitar would imply. Most of it is in the mids, actually, and beyond. I bring that up because the way that this was tuned in combination with the size of the driver is very bad at playing back a four-string bass guitar. The snaps and the pulls, the ringing on the strings all sound skewed and very strange, which means that it wouldn't play back most of the library, including rap, hip-hop, which samples a lot of four-string bass guitar, or rock and roll. So those are all out. Now we get to the bottom kick drum. And I don't think, as I sit here, on a set that's got some bass in it, that I've ever heard the kick drum sound as muted as this. Because remember, this does have bass below 100 hertz. But the kick drum sound like a tom. Like it sounded like another part of the drum kit, not the bass drum, not the kick drum. I don't remember as de-emphasized a replay as this set right here. So that, again, for rock and roll or anything that's got samples of bass guitars or kick drums, which is a lot of my library, this wouldn't really be a good idea. As we get into vocals, Chris Cornell, Lane Staley, Blondie, um, doing the Heart of Glass cover. 
we're running into the problem where the mid bass tuck is usually there to clean up the replay of vocals, but it will sometimes impede low the the rhythm section, low frequency instruments, or other things. So it's kind of a balancing act, and it really starts to make things genre specific, like uh, variations by Moondrop or Monarch, the original, might be best suited for K-pop, J-pop, Vocaloid stuff that's got a lot of vocals and not a lot of low-end energy, um, or not mid-bass energy anyway. So there's a spot for that, but in addition to pulling that down and it being a micro driver, they boosted up the ear gain to start really early and with a lot of emphasis. So you're, you're skewing the vocals on both ends, and it sounds very, very strange. Very unnatural, not ideal, not sometimes different tuning is an appealing thing because it's different and it sounds good in its own way. That's not the case with this set as it relates to vocals. It sounds quite poor. As we get into what is essentially harmonics and overtones, cymbals, um, guitars, electric and acoustic, with or without distortion pedals, pianos, electronic versions called keyboards, um, classical instruments like mm, clarinets and piccolos and flutes and trumpets and all, all the things that can go into an orchestra it, they all sound emphasized and, and abnormal because they're lacking some fundamental energy and they've got a lot of harmonic energy and having said that if I were to rank the worst parts of this set I would probably say the mids are the worst the bass is the second, and actually what looks like the most offensive is the third in line, because by the time we get there, it's already just such a wreck that you're just... The vocals have been done, and it was over the top because of the harmonics, and now you're getting into where you're talking about just harmonics. You, you already know. It's all kind of blown out. I can't think of a genre that would be appropriate for a tuning like this. Now, let me bring up a set that's not... that's kind of like this, and this is what I thought of. Remember, this is Paul's graph tool. And Paul wrote, ignore. I don't know why, because if you look at the Celeste Phoenix Cal call on other graph tools, it looks kind of like this. A ton of bass and a lot of trouble. It's not my thing, but like the Hexa, I could see where it would be a thing. I never wrecked this set, nor did I do a review for it, because I really don't have anything positive to say. But I can see where people like Hobby Talk and others who like an energetic replay, I think he liked it. I could see why some people might dig it just for the vibe temporary like my hades people would say oh that's total garbage there's some tracks where that absolutely comes alive and you totally you fall into a uh, three or four track back to back to back to back to back on one an album a hip-hop classic you haven't listened to in years and then something with vocals comes in and the whole dream pops like a bubble and you're back into holy crap this sounds like crap it was designed for hip-hop if you if you put it in there it's going to do its job that's what I imagine the Canera had its stuff and then everything else that didn't work. That would require some energy in the low end for you to vibe. Now, this set we're talking about today doesn't have any of that. It's just got all that treble energy. So let's go ahead and rank it. Is it a dumpster fire? Yes, it's a dumpster fire. It's absolutely unacceptable. Hope it was free. Um, no, because that would be a set that I would say you know, hey, you didn't pay for it, throw some EQ on it, it's not my thing, but so-and-so did a preset for it. That's, I can't, that's precluded by the fact that mm, six millimeter drivers don't take to a lot of EQ because they're very small and they're just one driver. In this configuration, there's nothing else going on. It's not going to turn out well. So if you got it for free, it's literally going to mm, be floating in the ocean in a couple of years. Like, it's a dumpster fire. I was going to do a demonstration about what that particular section of the ear gain being that emphasized does using Meatloaf, Bad Out of Hell's album, a lossless version of Paradise by the Dashboard Light, but I don't even need to take the chance of dinging my own video. So I'll just skip that. Skip this set. Save your money. It's not like there's not a set coming out every single week and there's four or five guys that are hyping the hell out of it saying it's ten times better than something they hyped the hell out of a month ago. There's going to be a better set. Uh, the, I'm sorry. There are already sets that cost $9. I think that was... QKZ has a $9 set. Even the bad version of the VK4 is better than this. And it's $9. Maybe 8 on sale. You don't need to spend four times as much for something that's worse. With a small driver. With no chance even with EQ. <coughs> 
Fix yourselves. This is a profit business. This is for money. Why are you releasing and creating stuff that is making reviewers reach? It's 2024. There's a ton of competition out there. Why don't you get your shit together? What is wrong with you? Who runs your company? What are you? What is the regional specific genre that I'm missing that this plays back well? What the fuck is going on? How does this get out the door? Let's before I leave. Let's let's put every graph up here. No, a lot of trouble. No base. A lot of trouble. A lot of base, a lot of trouble. Mid base, a lot of trouble. Lots and lots of trouble. Uh, red eyes would kill this. Riku would kill this. Super would kill this. There's no way. Mm, so anybody's general kind of guideline for what is safe, which is what those targets I just showed you are, they're not the golden line. That is what they like and what is generally safe for them. Their preferences, their library, they like that. Just so you know, that's the point of them being there. This is unlike all of them in all the bad ways. And now I'm out. That was kind of a rant, wasn't it? I'm not sorry, but I'm out. Come on.